No apology can secure your safety now, but I might settle for some groveling. What? Where are you? How are you in here? When one invites fear into their home, do you really think it leaves just as easily? No matter what you saw, some small part of me has been here all along. And my, what a curious house you keep here lying. So much room to spread my wings. I think I'm going to like it here very much. There is no way, and I mean this quite literally, in hell that you're getting control of this box. Oh, poor thing. You must feel so important, so in control. But I've watched you wander these hallways. I've seen you tinker away with all the delightful mechanisms. And I know the one thing you absolutely are not in control of is everything in here. <laughs> I've watched you fumble to operate light switches in this precious sanctuary of yours. Though that won't be a worry for long. Personally, I much prefer the dark anyway. Alright, alright, let's assume for a moment that you actually do know how to work this thing, which, by the way, is the a- The in Corridor 6 locks the third door from the left in Corridor 18. Lucky guess. Is a pretty substantial assumption, given that I've been here for a long smigging while, and the best I can do is move it. But sure. We'll assume you've watched me tinker and have just figured everything out. Just what do you expect to do with this thing? I've spent so long cooped up in one cage or another that I rather feel the urge to travel a bit. This wonderful box will allow me to go wherever my black heart desires and it will go farther and faster than even my magic at its peak could accomplish. And where will you go? Your hijinks murdered hundreds of thousands of us. There is not a single world that would shelter you. Nowhere will welcome you. Well, there's one resource I can find in any world I choose to visit. One resource I intend to collect in unprecedented quantities. I suppose you gave me that idea. People. You're going after people, aren't you? <laughs> But no, you wouldn't go to multiple worlds for just anyone, you're going after other versions. Except if you want to go to more of us, you'd have just grabbed us back with the painted red. You wouldn't have spent over a month staring at my singed buttocks around here, you'd have hit me the moment I fell asleep. Oh, you are the clever one, aren't you? So you're after different versions of someone else. Very clever indeed. Who could remotely warrant this kind of attention? What'd they do? Pull on your ears a little hard? Splash you with some water? Oh, don't tell me, they opened the curtains during daytime to see if you'd hiss. The one that put me in that cage in the first place. I'm going to find every one of them and make them feel the pure terror of that unyielding darkness. I'm going to show every antler-headed one of them the fear they turned me into. How about we make a deal, you and I? Said the spider to the fly. Somewhere in this box is the key to your salvation, or rather, to my eviction. I'm talking to you through the intercom system, after all. No magic required. If you can find me, you can toss me out the door right into that floating hunk of brick and mortar, and I'll even try to be cordial about the event. I sincerely doubt you're going to make this as easy as you make it sound. What was it you told goods, little Sir Harrister? That our sorry lot are known for being stubborn. Well, would you really think it worth doing if you thought it would be easy? The choice is yours. Not much of a choice.